Okay, I'm here with Sasha, who was a major contributor in today's pageant. Can you tell us just what your connection is to the uh, pageant? Um, I actually started pageants at the age of 12, so I've been doing it for over 17 years. And so through my learning experience, uh, being on stage, learning how to answer, do questions and answers, it's really have developed me into the young lady that I am today, along, of course, with family values. So after a while, I decided, why not do a pageant? Because they have, have helped me so much and cultivated, cultivated me, I was like, why not have a pageant that will do the same for other young women at a more accelerated rate? So that's why we developed, I developed American Nation Pageants, where our mission is to instill different skill sets to these young ladies that will help them personally and professionally along in life. That is really, really great. And did you have a favorite part of today's uh, pageant? It's hard to say because they were all my favorite parts. Actually, for me, I was behind the stage the entire time. So it was good to see that all the contestants were, were bonding very well, especially over the weekend. On Thursday, we had a general registration. And then on Friday, we took the girls to Nomads, which is a large Adventureland park that's in Connecticut. And they had the time of their lives. So it was a great bonding experience, along with the Big Sister, Little Sister program, which we implemented for the first time this year. And with that, we had the Team Jewel activities. It was like a little sister Olympics, pretty much. And then we had the big sister, little sister competition. And what was the point of that is to make sure that the little sisters who chosen their big sisters, that the big sisters have actually done their job in mentoring and cultivating these young, wonderful young ladies into very strong, positive-minded women. And so that was the point. And then on Saturday, we had seminar sessions where we had a Zumba instructor who came in and taught them how to be fit and healthy, as well as a seminar session from our um, hair and makeup artist vendor of how to roll your hair and to make it into perfect pageant hair. So it's a lot of different things we have implemented during the weekend that has increased a really great bonding experience among all the young contestants. That is so great. And as a past title holder, what would you, uh, what would you say to the girls for advice? As a past title holder, definitely do not give up. The first time that I did my first pageant, I did uh, the Miss American Co-Ed pageant, which was in New Jersey, and I was only a preteen at the time. And when I got called, I was the first one called for top 15, so I was very excited. And then when the Queen's Court was called, I didn't get called into the top five. So as soon as I got off the stage, I tried to maintain my composure. But then after that, I started to cry. As soon as the first tear started rolling, my mom saw that and said, do not do that. Uh-uh-uh. I do not want to see any tears. She said, this is your first pageant. This is your first experience. Not everyone is going to win on their first try. She said, you just have to make yourself better and you must lose with grace. So the second year that I competed in the pageant, I actually got into the top 10 and then I became third runner up. And then I knew at that point, I was very determined. I said, mom, I need to go again. And so we went to nationals, got the national experience. And then I came back full force for my third year. And I won my very first title of Miss New York Junior Teen American Co-Ed. And from that point on, I just kept on going. And doing different pageants has actually developed my experience. So that is something I would definitely encourage all the young ladies is to never give up. If this is what you want, you just have to make yourself stronger and better for the next time. Make it more difficult for the judges to select any young lady and say, choose me. Because I know I can fulfill that role and that responsibility. So definitely keep working as hard as you can. Thank you so much. You're welcome.